So another prominent Democrat governor setting his sights on Florida as speculation about 2024 picks up. J.B. Pritzker will be addressing an annual Democrat Party gala in Florida this weekend. Pritzker's been governor of Illinois since 2019. He is up for re-election. He is the heir to an heir uh, to the Hyatt Hotel fortune. Pritzker has a reported net worth of more than $3 billion, has a home in Florida, uh, he is one of the wealthiest current office holders in the country. I believe the wealthiest current office holder in the country. Uh, he's got a $12 million home in the state of Florida, so that is uh, one of his home away from homes. Dave Rubin is the host of the Rubin Report. Uh, Dave, good to see you. Uh, you're a resident of Florida now. I used to tease you about complaining about California and staying there, but now you, you have, you've moved on, uh, as so many people have, to the state of Florida. Here's your former governor, Newsom. Uh, going after folks who moved to Florida and saying, you need to come back to California. Here he is. Freedom is under attack in your state. Your Republican leaders, they're banning books, making it harder to vote, restricting speech in classrooms, even criminalizing women and doctors. I urge all of you living in Florida to join the fight or join us in California, where we still believe in freedom. Very interesting to see these two governors uh, taking on DeSantis and going after uh, what has been really attractive to so many people in Florida, Dave. Yeah, well, first off, I mean, everything, and I mean everything that Gavin Newsom says is a lie. He's just covering up for his horrible governance. Uh, California's falling apart. Everyone knows it, the deficits, the crime, the homelessness, okay, Everyone watching knows about all of that stuff, but it's all the people that are leaving. And when people leave, not only do they take their families and their resources, but they take a piece of the community with them. And I can tell you, living now here in the free state of Florida, instead of, you know, basically communist California, that all of the Californians and plenty of New Yorkers, too, who I meet down here, uh, most of them are what I would say are liberals who have been mugged by reality. They're mostly sort of moderate Democrats who saw what the Democrats have done with lockdowns and high taxes and everything else. And they've come down here and they're voting different ways. I'm very proud to say that for the first time in my life at 46 years old, about two weeks ago, uh, I registered as a Republican here in Florida. And there now are 200,000 more registered Republicans in Florida uh, than Democrats. And when Ron DeSantis came into office, there was about a 50,000 deficit. The, the Democratic Party here is in complete shambles. And by the way, you know, you mentioned uh, the amount of money that Pritzker is worth, $3 billion. You know, Ron DeSantis is worth about $300,000. Uh, this guy, who is a true Floridian, who cares about this place, has only governed to keep the people here free. And everywhere you go, you see crazy support for him. Uh, and I think he's sort of what the future of the Republican Party is. But in some ways, he's already acting as the president because we have a president who is obviously not doing particularly well. And then a bunch of people like Newsom and Pritzker and everything else who really just want power more than anything else. But they're looking to push Joe out. I mean, that's really what this yeah, is that, all about. That's what's so interesting in the dynamic that we've seen over the past uh, month or so, I would say. And, you know, J.B. Pritzker, the governor of, of Illinois, says, you know, Biden has said that he's running for re-election, and I support that. Uh, Newsom says, you know, we have to have his back. So they're being polite in the way that they're approaching all of this. But a piece uh, in the journal this morning, Joe Biden's presidency is sinking. It's the weekly column by Dan Hanninger, very interesting uh, read, which I highly recommend. Uh, but he, he says there will be a primary challenge, as there was in 1980 for Jimmy Carter. That's the reality, according to Hanninger this morning, that President Biden needs to face. Well, Martha, I mean, let me just be very, very clear here on Fox News, and people can clip it and send it across the Internet. Joe Biden is obviously not running in 2024. He may not even make it all the way. He's They're going to need an excuse. He wants to run against Trump again. I mean, the guy, he doesn't even know where he is. He's not running again. They're figuring out a way to pin all of this stuff on him. He's, he's sort of dead man walking. He doesn't realize it. And, and uh, you know what? I, I think the Republicans have a bright future. And, okay, send Newsom out, and let's have, the, let's have the Florida versus California battle. Maybe that's what America needs in 2024. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Dave, thank you. Always good to see you. Dave Rubin, now a resident of Florida. Good to be with you. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.